Hey, what's up, bro? What are you reading? I'm reading a book about self-transformation. Thanks. Leave me alone. Uh, self-transformation? Okay. Well, cool. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get shredded, so I need to transform. Okay? Now, go away. Uh-huh. Okay, man. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys so i'm back with another video and this video is going to be the beginner's guide to complete body transformation so this is not for intermediate or advanced lifters if you have over a year of experience in the gym this doesn't apply to you you probably already know what you're doing but if you haven't been in the gym before you've never kept track of your nutrition you don't really know what you're doing this is the guide for you and this is going to get you off to a really great start on your fitness journey i'm going to be going over the workout the lifestyle you're going to have and the nutrition aspect so let's get into it so part one workout the first thing you're going to want to do is adopt a weightlifting routine so first thing i want to get out of the way is i don't care what anyone says there's no such thing as getting too big i don't like when people say oh i don't want to lift weights because i don't want to get too big trust me it's not gonna happen muscle growth and muscle building is one of the slowest processes for the body it takes a lot of time to occur you're not gonna work out for one or two months and be like wow i gained way too much muscle i wish that didn't happen even if you have top 0.1 percent chris bumstead elite genetics it will not happen that fast you will be able to spot it from a mile away as it happens so if you do feel like oh I'm content with this muscle size, you can taper back on the training. It's not gonna happen overnight. In my opinion, almost everybody would look better with a little bit more lean mass added to their current frame. It will greatly improve your body composition. We have more lean mass compared to fat. Your muscle to fat ratio will change. Even if you don't have less fat mass, you're gonna look leaner because you have more muscle. So everyone can benefit from more lean mass. So in my personal opinion, from my experience, here's the best workout split slash routine or frequency that a beginner can do and that's three full body workouts per week now i'm not the only one who advocates for this there's a lot of really great elite natural lifters out there such as alpha destiny who also advocate for full body routines and i think they're very efficient so this split is a really good way to be in the gym only three times a week and still hit all the major muscle groups two to three times per week as well if you do want to go to the gym more time during the week because you either enjoy it or you just have the free time then go ahead and do the typical push pull legs bodybuilding split and you can be in the gym six days a week and throw in a seventh active rest day if you want but if you don't want to be there that long full body three times per week is gonna be your best friend and you're gonna make substantial gains on this routine. So what kind of exercises are you gonna be doing in this full body training split? You're gonna be focusing on compound exercises. So compound exercises are basically movements that incorporate more than one muscle at a time. So your routine is gonna be composed mainly of compound lifts with some accessory movements sprinkled in there as well. Some examples of compound movements are overhead barbell press, bench press, squats, deadlifts, leg press, etc. And some examples of accessory movements are bicep curls, side raises, tricep pull downs, etc. So here is the program I recommend you follow. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere here. And this is the routine you should start doing. And it's basically going to be a full body day, a rest day, a full body day, a rest day, and a full body day. Now, it doesn't have to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever times of the week. It could even be Monday, Thursday, and Sunday if you want and put a few more rest days in between. Just make sure you're going hard enough and intense enough for each workout. So with this routine, you'll be hitting, like I said, each major muscle group two to three times per week, which is gonna allow for very consistent muscle growth over a long period of time. I recommend trying to increase the weight you use for each exercise every one to two weeks. This is called progressive overloading. You basically will keep the rep ranges the same for the exercises, but you just slightly and incrementally increase the weights you're using for those sets every one to two weeks. For example, if my first week doing a routine, I did a barbell back squat with 50 pounds on my back for 10 reps, then the next week or two weeks, if possible, then I wanna be squatting 55 pounds for the same 10 reps, for example, and then eventually 60 pounds for the same 10 reps. And that gradual increase in strength, but within the same rep range is gonna cause really great muscle growth. Now you don't wanna make extreme drastic changes in weight really fast you don't want to try going from like benching 50 pounds to next week you're going for 75 because one you're most likely not going to be able to hit the weight and two 
If you try to force it, you're definitely going to set yourself up for an injury in the future. Small incremental gains and increases in weight. That's what's going to carry you in the long term and really help transform your body. Now you want, you're going to want to do this progressive overloading for this routine for three to six months and just keep track of the weight you lift so you can progressively overload as the time goes on and watch how much gains you make. Part two, your lifestyle, because that's also going to change. So now that you have the workout routine and frequency, how does your lifestyle need to change? Two very important factors must change your sleep and your daily activity levels. Sleep. First of all, sleep can be argued to be the most beneficial factor when it comes to body transformation, bodybuilding, weightlifting, etc. Why is it that sleep is so important? I'll tell you right now. Good sleep will allow your bodily processes to become much more fast, efficient, and smooth. With good sleep, you will one, have a faster metabolism, two, have more energy during the day, which will result in you having a more productive workout and more energy during your workout and three your recovery will be substantially better than someone who doesn't sleep as much as you so how much sleep should you get every night a minimum of eight hours not six to eight i say go for eight to ten at least eight consistent hours of sleep is going to be your best friend i personally have found the nights i get seven or less i always wake up feeling less energy i'm not as recovered i'm still really sore in a lot of places and during the day i have to rely on caffeine especially pre-workout before my workouts to help me get through them and to just feel normal but the nights that i get eight hours or more i always always for whatever reason feel like i'm on cocaine i'm not gonna lie good sleep is very underrated and you're gonna have way more energy and especially if you're trying to pr if it's a day where you're trying to go for an increase in weight you're definitely want, gonna wanna have at least eight hours of sleep the night before, because more than likely you're gonna be able to PR that day. So getting eight hours or more is obviously gonna be difficult, but it's not impossible. If you have a really busy schedule, then routine is gonna be your best friend. You need to pick a time at night that you're gonna go to sleep by every night and a time to wake up at, because the human body adapts very quickly. Your circadian rhythm is gonna adapt to that and you're gonna start getting tired at that time every night. You'll be less likely to stay up late playing video games or hanging out with your friends, whatever it is you want to do. You want to establish your circadian rhythm and have set times to go to sleep and wake up at. It will benefit you a lot, trust me. So you're going to want to get that many hours of sleep. And yes, you might have to sacrifice some nights and not decide to go out and hang out with your friends at 10 p.m. or not go hit the drive through at midnight or stay up late on Discord playing games with your homies till 3 a.m. But that's okay because it's temporary. Remember, you clicked this video because your current goal is to transform your body. So if that means making temporary sacrifices for long-term gains, then so be it. Do your future self a favor and stick to it. Even if it means temporarily minimizing your nihilistic habits, then so be it. Trust me, it's worth it. Now we talked about sleep. Let's talk about activity levels. What has to change with your daily activity level? Ideally, you're gonna mainly wanna just get more steps during the day. You're gonna wanna walk as much as possible. Get your steps in. I know it sounds cliche, but really it makes a huge difference in your total daily energy expenditure. When in the hours that you're outside of the gym, try to avoid just sitting around and doing nothing unless it's for work or important tasks. In your free time, even if it's only five minutes, literally just go outside and take a walk. After your meals, try to go outside and take a five minute walk. It'll not only help you get your steps in, but it'll improve digestion as well and reduce that sleepy feeling that you get if you eat like a carb heavy meal. Try to play a sport or hang out with your friends if you have any during the day and just do something active. Go on a hike more often, throw a frisbee around. If they want to meet up and play basketball, try to partake in these things uh, and it's really going to help increase your calorie expenditure. If you drive somewhere, if you have a car, literally park further away you're going to not have to wait around for a parking spot and two those extra hundred steps you're going to take will add up trust me so these simple steps that you're taking to have higher levels of activity during the day are going to add up and increase the amount of calories your body is burning per day and why is this a good thing because it will allow you to eat more food and more calories during the day without putting on excess fat when you move your body is relying on fuel for energy so when you move more you can eat more from personal experience i've noticed that moving more has allowed me to maintain and even cut weight or diet on higher amounts of calories and has made my maintenance calories substantially higher than what they could have been if i was sitting around all day last but not least we have part three nutrition what is your nutrition gonna look like on this journey? Now, I could sit here and tell you to count your calories and track your macros and all that stuff, which I already made a video on, but 
the truth is most people will never commit to fully doing that in their daily routine because most people are just average and they don't want to become like fitness freaks they want a balance between lifestyle and fitness and there's nothing wrong with that that's absolutely okay i think fitness should enhance your life not become your life right unless you're making a living off it it's a different story so how do you get the right nutrition without having to count your calories i will tell you right now now obviously this won't be as efficient as knowing the exact numbers and thoroughly counting your calories but that's okay this will still work if you do want to get into counting calories and understanding those numbers and how to do it i have a video that i made about that i'll put somewhere on the screen if you want to click it then be my guest check that video out i went into depth on calorie counting but anyways back to nutrition this is what your plate should look like at every meal i'll put it on the screen somewhere so first of all you're going to want a good amount of protein in your diet since you're lifting weights now you're trying to increase muscle mass protein is going to be very important and beneficial for a lot of things now you're also going to want to eat high amounts of vegetables with your meals as well. Vegetables are very high in volume and low in calories, so they're gonna help keep you full and satiated for not as many calories, and you're gonna get all your daily vitamins and minerals for them, and they're gonna help support a strong immune system, healthy bones, etc. Do not underestimate the power of vegetables, trust me. Now last, you're gonna want a moderate amount of fruit and grains and other forms of carbohydrate. Don't overdo it on these, but just eat them as you feel fit. If you wanna have a few extra slices of toast, or a piece of fruit, a cup of rice, a small plate of pasta, whatever it may be, then go ahead and go for it. But just have them as a side piece or a side dish to your meal. And your meal should mainly be comprised of protein and vegetable. Now I know what you're probably thinking. That's it, you can never go out and eat with your friends and you're gonna have to be eating extremely clean, chicken and broccoli five times a day and that's what your life has come to. No, that's not what we're doing here. You do not have to be that strict. You most definitely can go out with your friends and get fast food whatever it is you guys want to eat. However, you're just going to have to be a little bit more smart about it, right? So it's probably not a good idea to do it several times per day or several days in a row. But if you have to, you can still order different options and not go too extreme every time you do it. I would say try not to go over eating out one to two times per week. So that way you can still enjoy your social time and have a social life and stuff like that without setting your progress back. Also, doing it less often will make it a lot more enjoyable when it does happen. So to wrap this video up, in conclusion, if you're a beginner and you want to transform your body, you should be training each muscle group two to three times per week, progressively overloading, aka slightly increasing the weights you're using every one to two weeks, sleeping eight or more hours per night, walking and being more active during other parts of the day when you're not in the gym, and consuming large amounts of protein and vegetables with moderate amounts of fruits, grains, nuts. Now, I just want you to commit the next three months, the next 90 days of your life to this routine and this process and just watch what can happen a lot of people underestimate themselves and they just don't feel confident in what they're capable of but just commit the next few months and really stick to it and i promise you're going to be seeing pretty drastic results you see most people don't have all of these factors dialed in workout lifestyle and nutrition they usually lack one or more maybe they're working out like crazy but their nutrition is really bad and they're not sleeping enough Maybe they're sleeping enough and they eat really well, but they're not building muscles. So they're not really changing their physique that much. Maybe people are lifting a lot and sleeping a lot so they have great recovery, but their nutrition is still trash and they're just getting McDonald's every day. So it's covering up most of the results they're making anyway. Now, if you can manage to change your lifestyle and actually dial in all of the aspects that I mentioned, your results are going to skyrocket at exponentially higher speed. Honestly, you might even be surprised yourself with what you can accomplish when you dial everything in. So I hope you found value in this video and I'm definitely gonna be uploading more videos about body transformation, about fat loss, about muscle building, about specific routines, etc. If you have any suggestions on what you wanna see, leave it in the comments and if you wanna follow along and get some more value from this channel, then go ahead, like this video and subscribe. And this is Ski Mask Duets signing out and let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world. Peace.